<laughs> How am I feeling? I feel sick. Anyway, as you all know by the time this video plays, the verdict of Brady Francis came out and he was acquitted, found not guilty, and uh, it's, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad. It's, the whole goddamn system was screwed up right from the start. I mean, the poor natives uh, 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 arrived there this morning, and then I said, uh, "Leave my engine on, I guess." So I said, uh, "I arrived there at 9:30. That was the first one there. There was nobody there then." I mean, it started to arrive, and I said to myself, okay, and now we're starts the reading at 9.30. I'm, I should be out of there by 10.30. Wrong answer. And me to stay in one spot for a long time. It's not good. It's not good at all, because I started driving other people crazy. But anyway, this thing here, right from the start, he wanted his trial in French. All right, he has the right to, no problem. But no translator from French to English or French to the native language. There was the the government just spit right in the native's face and said, "No, we're not gonna. You're not gonna go. You're not gonna know what's going on." It was windy. It was cold. 90% of the people there were maybe higher were female natives and I'm gonna tell you something I'm terrified of the female natives when they tell you to move you move they're beautiful high cheekbone beautiful brown eyes but once they turn angry look at it and those are the warriors and I'm telling you those warriors I can't tell, I can't say I know how they feel because I, I don't. I'm a white guy. I'm an Acadian. I'm not. It was terrible. There was, there was absolutely no, no updates or translator to go outside and give. There was 50 natives. The, the CBC said there was 20 people outside. There was 50 people outside. Thank God. 50. And they were all, they, everybody was wondering what was going on and looking if people were coming out, if looking if uh, uh, Johnson, Maurice Johnson was going to come out, victory sign, they could have went, you know. Nobody knew nothing. And then I seen uh, Brady, uh, Francis' mom, on the phone. And then she began crying. I don't know who I don't know who she was talking to. But she said he was acquitted. Myself, what am I supposed to do here? I would have loved to uh, join in and mourn with them, but I fight. I'm on their side and. I gotta do my job with the videos. Show, show the world how inhumane this is. And what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen here? The family weren't allowed to go inside to face the judge. The family wasn't allowed to have translation to translate from ink from fresh to English the family wasn't allowed to have their mother tongue native this is nuts this is insane what happened in Saskatchewan in Saskatchewan the na young native that was shot dead by the farmer and the farmer was acquitted this is worse this is much worse much worse because out west 
the uh, the farmer protected his land and the young native wasn't going around for a Sunday drive there. They weren't going around for a Sunday drive. And uh, he protected his land and then, but it was, it wasn't right. It was all a white man jewelry and blah, blah, blah. But this thing here, this thing here is bad. George LeBlanc, I'm ashamed to be called a LeBlanc after this. That's why they get appointed as who you know. Racism. Um, Charlie Focus. It's going to be interesting to see the law their lawyer, his lawyer, Maurice Johnson, was watching. I got it on film, and he was watching them singing, hitting the drums, and singing, and mourning. And you know what? He had tears in his eyes. He had tears in his eyes. He had, you know, he didn't look good. That's that's the the lawyer the guy that was found not guilty he was he excuse me he was f effed up he was it wasn't oh i won if there's an appeal who are they going to talk to the the prosecutor never spoke to the media never spoke to the family what's going to happen here they got 30 days to appeal what they're going to do what they're gonna do? Are you just gonna have it on French and the native can't understand what's going on? This is injustice and the chief, chief saw, oh my God, it was so sad. It was sad, I felt so bad. I felt so bad for him. He, I mean, what a good chief. I mean, right from the people and his emotion. I, I predicted it, I said, because of the coronavirus, you'd be found not guguilty. Then I said, nah, the, the 12 pack, the vodka in the morning, they got it on film. Nah, oh, I just hit a deer, hit somebody, no problem. Hit somebody and just claim, well, I thought it was a deer. And this re reconstruction team for the RCMP, what a waste, what a waste of time. All they have to do is ask for this guy, I don't know how much you pay him, a former uh, RCMP reconstruction expert and he just said well in my opinion uh, I don't think the body was in the right place oh there's doubt not guilty <laughs> what a mess what a shame it's uh, like I said I told I told the chief I, I felt I feel bad for it uh, for the uh, for the natives not only in Elsie Puckdog, but all around. I mean, this is pure, pure racism. I mean, it's, they, this is terrible. And you think the coronavirus is going to end this? No, not from a long shot. No, no. There, but to appeal what? In French. I got to find out, well, how does that go? Appeal in front of three judges, that's French. Maurice Johnson, don't celebrate yet.